Got it, got it, need it, need it, need it, definitely need it. Hey, bro, did you ever get those event exclusive androids? I got 18, but not 17. They're so weird, bro. What? How is that weird? I, I already have the Class C Adventurer version. <laughs> you and your third party fix, man. Now that is weird. What? How is that weird? Class C Adventurer, Demon Eagle Fit. Like, what's next? You're gonna start buying Kong Studios figures like everyone else? What? No, no, of course not. Whatever, man. Whatever you're doing, you gotta do it quick. Your people been waiting, man. Every two months, you said. And now here we are in May. I know, man, I know, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth the wait, okay? I promise. Whatever, man. Got it, need it, need it, got it. You know I'm here. What's good, YouTube? Dante from JD Hunter, back with another video and back with, um, what are we, what are we doing today? You guys see the title, you know what the vibes are today. You guys have been asking me for months, DMs, comments, everything. You guys have been asking, where's the collection video? Where's the collection video? Well, here it is. I know originally I said I was gonna try and do this every two months, but really after Christmas, I didn't get anything in until like a month ago. And then I just got in two new figures today. Um, so I was really trying to make sure my collection was different. I've said this before. I don't wanna just make videos of having the same collection, but um, yeah, it's been way too long. I've been saying it's gonna be worth the wait and I promise you it is definitely worth the wait. Before I get into showing off the collection in full detail, if you're new here, because I know these videos tend to get a lot of views, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I post a ton of Dragon Ball SH figure arts content. Um, and this is gonna be kind of the domino that gets the ball rolling. I've got a lot of other Dragon Ball videos that I wanna do with my collection uh, that I've been waiting to make before I've posted my full collection. I'm gonna be doing a full room tour soon as well. I know a lot of you've been asking about that. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, hit that button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, all that good stuff. I'm so excited to be making this video. Hopefully you guys are excited too. But I've been saying it's worth the wait. I have changed pretty much every single Detox cube is gonna have some sort of change. Uh, this is the most figures I've ever picked up between two collection update videos. And uh, you guys might've noticed in the title, this is not my May 2022 collection update. This is just my 2022 Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts collection update. Um, I decided that that's what this video was gonna be a little while ago because the very first video I did, which was my 2021 collection update was about a year ago. So it just makes sense. You know, we've taken all this time off. It's a huge update. Um, so that's what today's video is. I've also like foundationally changed my displays because I used to have one over here, one over here, and then the extra one over there. You guys have probably seen the videos, but I'll get into all of that. I've got a very special surprise at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that, but you guys have waited way too long. Let's just get into this, man. Let's go.
All right, guys, here we are. Start off a little bit of a wide shot so you guys can kind of get the vibe of the whole setup. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, seen my other collection updates, you'll know that this Detoff here on the left um, was always my Dragon Ball Z. The one on the right beside the TV was the Dragon Ball Super. And then the one on the far right was kind of my newest one, which had um, this kind of random other anime stuff going on, the OG Dragon Ball at the top. That was kind of over there on the side. Now, you'll notice in the middle here, maybe you won't notice, maybe you didn't pay that close attention, but I got a new TV. Um, my other TV was really old and really small, so finally saved up, got a new TV. Um, and in doing so, I actually had to kick these cabinets over a little bit to make room for it, because it's obviously wider. Uh, super happy with it though, it looks dope. Got the lights on the back, all that. Um, but so I had to take everything out of the cabinets to move them because otherwise all the figures would have just tipped over. I didn't want to break anything. And while I was doing that, I kind of did something I've always wanted to do, which was kind of rearrange what's in the actual detox because this one's kind of isolated over here. I felt like it made more sense to have all of like the Dragon Ball canon together over here. Uh, we'll get into that later in the video because I'm going to start over here. Um, but yeah, here's the whole vibe back forth. There we go. TV in the middle. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start over here on the left with the OG Dragon Ball. All right, let's pop the detail open. Uh, so I've got the OG Dragon Ball over here. Um, this setup is one of the very few that hasn't changed at all from the last video. I've kind of been slacking on picking up OG Dragon Ball figures. I feel like I've said that the last like three collection updates, um, but I really want to get Jackie Chun. I've been rewatching the original Dragon Ball and just makes me want him even more. Um, but before I get into all the figures in this display, I do want to mention, uh, I've mentioned it in collection videos past, but because this is sort of like the annual 2022 one, and I still always get questions, the dioramas. I made all of these dioramas that you're going to see in the video, all these ones down here, and all the ones over there, I made them all myself. Um, it's a really easy process, probably easier for some than others, like if you don't have any artistic background, it might be a little bit more difficult, but it's definitely doable. Um, there is a video on the channel where I show how I make the dioramas. Um, definitely a really rewarding process. I feel like it just elevates your display. So if you've ever thought about wanting a diorama and you're not really sure how to go about it, maybe go check out that video on the channel. I'll link it in the description if I can remember to do that. Um, you guys can kind of see how I did it and see if you think you could do it. I feel like you could. It's not that hard. Um, but yeah, so there's question number one answer that I always get. Uh, so let's start with the figures here, man. I got the Adventure Begins Balma, one of my most underrated figures in my collection. Honestly, I love this figure. She looks amazing. Uh, the diorama, of course, is like the little tournament ring. I wish I had some kind of like backdrop to make it look like that little building uh, with like the little wall that gets broken. But, you know, it's pretty clean, pretty simple. Um, I've got Kid Krillin and Kid Goku. Kid Goku, the very first SH figure arts that I got, the one that got it started for me, man, and uh, still holds up as one of my favorite figures, if not my favorite figure in the whole collection. Uh, I've got him battling Krillin right here from like the second martial arts tournament, uh, but I'd love to kind of switch things up and get Goku fighting Jackie Chun because I just rewatched that and it's such an epic fight. Um, and then I've got Chi Chi up here on the Nimbus for now, just by herself. I want to get the blue Gi Goku. I've been saying that forever too, um, but I want to put him up there with her. And she can kind of have her hands on his shoulders. I think that would look awesome. Um, but yeah, I do love this display. I love the OG Dragon Ball vibes. Um, definitely more figures I need to get. Um, hopefully I can start picking off some of them soon. Like I said, Jackie Chan is right near the top of my list. Um, I also want to get Demon King Piccolo. That new launch looks really good as well. But yeah, and then of course, Blue Geek Goku. But there's my OG Dragon Ball setup. We're gonna try and do this all in like canonical order. So this one, like I said, is kind of isolated over here on the left with my MHA, my Demon Slayer stuff. I'm gonna put Naruto down there with the figure arts line. Uh, but yeah, and then we jump over here to the Dragon Ball Z stuff. I figured I might as well show it. I won't talk about it for much, but here's my little MHA setup. Hasn't changed from the last video. I don't think, I think I had Deku. I might've gotten Deku in between. Um, yeah, I've got a little diorama there. I've got Todoroki pre-ordered as well uh, for anybody asking. And then the Demon Slayer setup. Uh, I've also got Zenitsu and Inusuke pre-ordered. I still need to get Kyojiro. Uh, but yeah, there's a little Demon Slayer kind of in the woods type vibe. Uh, love these, both of these figure lines. Super excited to get more figures. Don't really have enough figures to make like a full collection on either of them. So I'll just throw them in with the Dragon Ball one. Uh, but yeah, let's hop over to the Dragon Ball Z side. All right, so like I said, I used to kind of go down the order. So I had like Saiyan Saga, Namek Saga, Android Saga, and then all the way down to the Boo Saga. But now that I've got them sort of side by side, I've done them sort of almost like you're reading like a book. So you go left to right, left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way down. And the way that that plays out, I've got the DBZ stuff on the top and then Dragon Ball Super on the bottom. So let me know what you guys think. 
Um, I feel like with them being side by side, if this was all DBZ and then this was all Dragon Ball Super, it would look kind of weird having like the Saiyan Saga beside like the Battle of the God Saga. Um, so yeah, again, just trying something new. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you liked it better before with like the columns as opposed to, I guess, the rows. Um, but I really like how it looks like this. Um, but yeah, let's get into the first detox shelf. Pop this cabinet over and yeah, guys. You guys have been asking, all right? I saw your comments. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it, man. Kaioken Goku in his rightful, like, accurate, canonical spot in the Saiyan Saga. Really looks like he's about to take a poop right there. What? But this is the only change I made to this display. I just really just swapped him in the Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku from the Namek Saga. But the rest of this display has stayed pretty much entirely the same. I love the way it looks. That's why I obviously haven't changed it. Uh, but we've got the great ape Uzaro Vegeta in the back. Probably my favorite figure in my entire collection. Such an amazing figure. Um, I hope we get another great ape figure eventually. Although, God, I don't know where I'd put it or how I'd afford it. So yeah, maybe not. Uh, over here, we've got the original Scouter Vegeta. I feel like this figure is due for a, I guess, 3.0 at this point. Um, the face sculpt is a little bit outdated. I feel like we get some new shading as well. Uh, then this is the newer version of Nappa, the um, event exclusive. Um, yeah, so love the two of them together. Pretty clean, pretty classic. Already went over Goku and then sort of the focal point. Well, I guess Vegeta is kind of the focal point. I guess what we could call like the actual like physical centerpiece because it's in the center is this recreation of the scene of Piccolo saving Gohan. I know from the front you like can't really see Gohan. I feel like that's part of the fun of it. You kind of get that little Easter egg behind him. Love that face sculpt from Tamashi. Super underrated figure, that kid Gohan. I like the uh, Saiyan Saga hair better than the Namek Saga hair personally. Um, this Piccolo 2, to me, one of the best figures they've made recently. Um, I really want to get a second one so I could pose him with the cape in one of the other cubes. Um, but yeah, love this display. Uh, let me know who I could get to add here. The one I've been thinking about is Raditz. He's a little bit pricey, a little bit harder to find. Um, but I think he'd like fit in perfect with the other Saiyans over here, Nappa and Vegeta. Um, but yeah, here is the Saiyan Saga. Let's move on to the Namek Saga. See, man, now I gotta do this little, like flip over, jump over the next cabin. I can't just go straight down, it's kind of annoying. All right, here is the Namek Saga. Changes have been made. I feel like it's a little bit of a work in progress because there is so much room. Part of the reason I did that though was because I felt like I didn't have a lot of room before and I really wanted to get that new Krillin and Gohan uh, in their like Saiyan armor. And then the, I really like the Namek Balma as well. Um, and the reason I kind of passed on the rest of the Ginyu Force was because I feel like I didn't have room um, it's also really expensive to try and recreate the whole thing, but now I feel like I have a lot more room, but I don't know if I like the way it looks as much. Um, before I had like this Goku that I made kind of in the center, um, and then Final Form Frieza was kind of in the background, which I didn't love. Um, I kind of wanted him as more of a focal point, so now I've kind of recreated this little battle between the two of them. Um, so let me know, it looks kind of plain, I know, but I feel like if I get more figures in here, it'll look a lot better. Um, so we'll kind of see where things go probably once I get that uh, Gohan and Krillin. Uh, let's start in the back corner here. Again, super underrated figure. One of my favorites in the whole collection. First form Frieza. I've got him in his little pod here. He's collecting some of the Dragon Balls. And now I've got Genyu right beside him. Now before, for the longest time, I had Genyu with his back turned to the front of the shelf. And I had Kaioken Goku sort of facing forward, so they were kind of squaring off. Um, so I like that I've kind of changed things up and I'm actually able to see the front of Genyu because I think he's a really good looking figure. Uh, I like kind of the dynamic action of him holding the Dragon Ball. I think that looks dope. And then here he is, guys. Saiyan raised on Earth Goku. I got a little bit of separation anxiety with this figure because he's just always been over here in my Saiyan Saga display. And he looks so good, but... I wanted to change things up. I think he looks okay here. Yeah, I really want to get Bardock. I'll probably put him in the uh, Namek Saga display here as well. Um, and I'd probably have him posed up in the corner there with Goku. So I feel like that would look super dope. Um, and then we transition to the middle here. I've gotten questions on this figure, this Goku, but this is my kit bashed, uh, customized Goku. It's a demoniacal fit body, uh, a belt that I pieced from a different Goku uh, with the Super Saiyan demoniacal fit head pack. Uh, I made a video on this figure as well. You can find it on the channel. It's just kind of making my definitive Namek Saga Goku. I hope Tamashi makes a version of this as well. Um, but yeah, man, I've got him fighting Frieza. So this is kind of when he first goes Super Saiyan. They kind of talk a little bit and then Frieza tries to attack him. And Goku's just a little bit OP at that point. He like grabs his hand and starts twisting it, brings Frieza down to his knees. 
can see that expression. He's big mad. Uh, so I like that I was able to get them fighting a little bit um, because really if they're going to be like having a true like fight it out in the air type of a battle, it would be Goku when he's shirtless. It's kind of the end of that arc when like the planet is actually about ready to explode. So there's only a few like scenes of Goku where he's still got that blue shirt on. Obviously when he's first awakening, which is what I had before, but in terms of him like fighting Frieza, uh, this is always a scene that I really liked when he just kind of showed him his boss a little bit. Uh, brought him to his knees. I think it looks fire, kind of a centerpiece again to this display. And I think it would just look a little bit better if there were more figures going on and everything feels a little bit plain. But like I said, uh, Gohan, Krillin, I want to get Bardock as well. I think we'll look dope. Uh, so yeah, there's my Namek Saga display. You guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit. I haven't talked about these displays in a long time. There's lots of changes, so grab a snack. This is probably gonna be a super long video. You guys been asking for it, so hopefully no complaints about it being long. Um, but here is the Android slash like Cell Saga display. Uh, so let's walk through it, man. It's probably one of my favorite dioramas that I made. Uh, the corner here, we've got the little piece of the like tournament ring. So we've got Super Saiyan Goku fighting Perfect Cell. This is actually a Dragon Star Cell. Uh, hence why he's facing backwards because the face sculpt's not the best. But yeah, I love this little recreation. I do eventually want to get Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Kind of holding out hope. I feel like I say this every video. Kind of holding out hope that they make another one so I don't have to pay the ludicrous price of the original one. We've got the two of them fighting back there. I do love that scene, so that's fine with me. Uh, right at the front, I've got the two Androids, 18 and 17. Android 18 is the uh, event exclusive one from, I guess, two years ago now. And then this Android 17 is actually the classy adventurer version. I really like the like windy scarf. I think that's a dope little touch. Uh, two of my favorite figures right here, especially 18, one of my favorite characters. In the back, another character we definitely need a 2.0 of, or I guess 3.0, I always mix those up. Um, but this is the 1.0 premium color trunks. Uh, clean figure, I like it, but it is 1.0 and we've come a long way since then. Um, so definitely would love to get an updated version of trunks. And then I figure I literally just got today, and that is the brand new Krillin figure. Uh, if you haven't picked him up or if you're still waiting on your order to come in, uh, brief review, he is amazing, guys. I love it. The face calls are some of the best I feel like Tomashi has ever done. Um, I feel like they nailed the like little bit of a smaller body mold. Uh, the Destructo disc effect is incredible. Um, he poses super well. The shoulders were a little bit weird. His arms kind of popped off uh, a couple of times on me, not like broke off, but just kind of popped out of their socket. So maybe it was just mine, I don't know. Um, but overall, really, really solid figure, really happy with them. Um, and really happy with this display, man. This was like the most boring display in my collection for a long time. Um, but I feel like it's like really starting to come together. Um, I think the big one we're missing here is Gohan. The last thing though I wanna do is go like spend a crazy amount of money to buy the 2.0 version and then them come out with the 3.0. So. Uh, I'm gonna think about it a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, I might have to start saving up for him because I feel like I've waited long enough. All right, I said my Android Saga was like the worst one for a long time, but truly, you guys have been watching the videos for a long time, know that my Boo Saga display was the worst one for a long time. I had like two figures, I was looking busted. Now, honestly, it might be my favorite, probably only topped by my Tournament of Power display. You guys will see why in a minute. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it all starts right here. The centerpiece, probably my new favorite figure. Uh, if you guys don't know where I got this from, go check out a couple of videos ago. I made my video on how to get the definitive uh, Majin Vegeta SH figure arts. This is made by Kong Studios. You can't buy this figure outright. Uh, I actually bought two different figures. They come with like different body parts uh, and head sculpts that I just pieced together to get this like definitive version. Love it so much. I took the aura effect from my Super Saiyan Goku up there and gave it to him, just such an incredible focal point for this display. And then I love the look of him in the front and then the Super Saiyan 3 Goku above him in the back. Uh, this is of course the reissue we got a few months back. Really love this figure. I'm not a huge fan of like the Super Saiyan 3 look, um, but I do feel like they nailed this figure. He looks great. And this is crazy, man, because Boo and Gohan, this is the 1.0 Mystic Gohan and then Super Boo. They were always like the, the prime focus of my display and now they've kind of been relegated to the back now that we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta. Um, and so like as like a tertiary part of the display, they look amazing. Uh, I love that. I've got great Saiyan man. Uh, don't love this figure, but I do like the way the red cape kind of adds a little bit of, I guess, difference in color, a little bit of a pop of color in the display. So much yellow hair going on. So the red is a nice touch. And over here on the left side, we've got a couple of Super Saiyans. We got Gotenks right here with this little ghost effect. I've like attached it to the base of Super Saiyan 3, so that worked out pretty well. 
Uh, and then right here, I've got my Super Saiyan Vegeta after he's uh, sort of revived. Now again, you guys probably asking, where did you get this figure? This was one of the bodies I got from the Kong Studios video I made. Um, and I never really showed this in that video because I was still kind of working on it. Um, but yeah, man, I got the demoniacal fit Super Saiyan head uh, to kind of snap onto the neck peg. And then I took my Halo from Frieza and I've sticky tacked it onto the back of his head. So it's like when he comes back, he's revived. Not really a figure that I was like clamoring for. Like I wasn't feeling like, oh, I need a Super Saiyan revived Vegeta, but it's just kind of what I came together with, with the stuff I had, because it was just a bonus figure. Um, but yeah, I think he looks super dope up there with the two Halo guys up there. Uh, it's looking super dope for sure. I want to get Vegito. I want to get Fat Boo. I honestly kind of want to get Mr. Satan as well. Um, and then, like I said earlier, I do want to get a second Piccolo with a cape. And I feel like he would probably fit in this display kind of on the left over here in that little gap right there. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the revived um, Boo Saga display. I feel like it's my most improved. We're handing out awards and displays. I love the way it's looking right now. Um, and I feel like, yeah, I can get even better with a couple more figures. Um, but yeah, that's gonna conclude the Dragon Ball Z part of the video. Let's move on to Dragon Ball Super. All right, here is my newest diorama that I created. Uh, I only made it after I bought these event exclusive figures. So we've got only three figures in this display. We've got the little Battle of Gods Island here uh, where Beerus and Goku are kind of duking it out. So in the front here, we've got Whis, just classic, simple pose right here. Love this figure. Looks really, really good, especially with the shading they added for the event exclusive. And then up in the top here, we've got, of course, the iconic battle between Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Beerus. I never had the original Beerus or Whis, so I was so glad to get these, uh, like, reissues, I guess we could call them. They look amazing. Love this Super Saiyan God, Goku, too. I really wasn't a huge fan of the translucent hair when we first got it, but it's really, really grown on me. I love the colors on the gi, too. The orange pops, uh, I think, more than any other Goku we've gotten, so... Yeah, this display is like super basic, I guess, but I still really like the way it looks. If we ever get news on that like base form Vegeta, I'd love to get one of him and do like a raging Super Saiyan, like that's my Bulma scene. Maybe put him in this little crevice or something. Um, Cause really Battle of the Gods, there's not too many other characters you could fit in here. Uh, most of them were just kind of chilling at Bulma's birthday or whatever and just watching these guys fight for the <laughs> fate of the world up in the sky. Uh, so, I mean, if this is the way it stays forever, then I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah, nothing much to say about this one. Let's get into my Goku Black saga. I never know what to call this saga. Like, I, I feel like I always say Goku Black, but I know some people call it Future Trunks. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the right terminology is. The, I mean, the Zamasu arc, I don't know, man. I call it uh, Goku Black because he's kind of like the best part of it, I guess. I don't know, but... Yeah, here's the display. I changed this one a ton before last uh, collection update. So this one again has remained unchanged. Um, but for anybody who didn't see that video or hasn't seen my collection videos before, we'll go over it. So I've got the premium Bandai Super Saiyan Blue Vegito right here. I've got this little aura effect. This one and the yellow one for Imagine Vegeta both came on Amazon. Uh, they're relatively cheap. They look pretty good. So yeah, I recommend picking them up. Um, and then of course we've got the fused Zamasu here with like the corrupted purple arm. Love this scene right here of them punching. I know a lot of people probably recreate this scene with their figures, um, but I mean, for good reason, man, it looks dope as hell. Uh, we've got the brand new, I guess like premium color re-release. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, Goku Black Rose version. Love this figure, super clean. Love the 2.0 articulation we get on it. Love the like purple aura around him. I wish he did that with more figures. Uh, like kind of color them based on what their aura would turn them. But if you're gonna do that, man, give us an aura effect. Come on. But yeah, I love the way he looks. Back here, we get into some uh, stuff that I'm um, not proud about. We got this Dragon Star's body, the bootleg SH figure arts head. We've got these just straight up bootleg Goku Black over here. Again, I've said this before, if I touched him too much, pause, um, he will literally just crumble apart, so. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna stay there forever until I'm ready to throw him out. Uh, right here, we've got a little bit of a kit bash. We've got a 1.0 Super Saiyan Vegeta body with the uh, Super Saiyan blue head that we get from the Broly movie figure. So I've got them fighting up there. And then if Vegeta is fighting Goku Black, of course, Goku has to be fighting Zamasu. Uh, so this is kind of like after he rages and he's just like fed up with Zamasu. Cause Zamasu, Let's be real guys, Zamasu is not really a good fighter. Goku could just like easily piece him up, but he's just like immortal so he can't die. So he's just like a pest and I love how he just like swatted him away. 
Uh, so I've got this little rock effect. Love the face sculpt on Zamas who getting smacked over there. Goku just doesn't care at all. No cares in the world. Let's get a look at the full sort of uh, composition of the display. Love the way this one looks. So much like intricate, like flight stand work. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've got one base. Got this one curling over on Goku, the back one up there for Vegeta. And then I've got Zamasu on another one, which is hidden underneath this like rock here. God, that took me so long. So I won't be changing this display anytime soon, but I uh, love the way it looks. So I don't need to change it until I get a new figure. I still got to get future trunks. I say that every video again. <laughs> I've been saying that since the beginning. Uh, so hopefully I can get him soon, but there is the Goku Black Arc. All right, guys, here it is. This is, I think, officially like the crown jewel of my collection. This is the first shelf I can say is like totally 100% full. Um, if I want to keep everything like kind of dynamic, have people flying in the air, fighting, whatever, I literally can't fit any more figures in here. I'd have to like do a bunch more museum poses. Um, so if I needed more room for a tournament of power, I'd have to make a, get a new detail off, make a new second tournament of power display. I'm not opposed to doing that. I feel like I'm going to need more dioramas eventually anyways. Um, but man, I love the way this looks. So let's, let's get it started, man. Right in the middle. Uh, similar to what we did with Majin Vegeta and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we've got this sort of dual mirrored poses here. So we've got the uh, UI sign Goku with the eyes closed. Head sculpt, love this part where he's about to get punched uh, by Jiren and he kind of closes his eyes, awakens Ultra Instinct once more. And then on top of my little time pillar here in the back, we've got the MUI Goku fully awakened. And I love the way that they set up that they're kind of like stacked on top of each other. It just looks so fire. In my opinion, I'm trying to like gas myself up. I uh, got the brand new, one of my newest figures, didn't have her last video. This is the Tournament of Power version or Dragon Ball Super version of Android 18. Really love the way this figure turned out. Um, matte finish all around, looks really good. I like the more like platinum blonde hair as opposed to the bright yellow. I wish they'd do that with some of the Super Saiyans. Uh, we've got another classy adventurer, Android 17, of course, came in the two pack. Love this little like double flight stand action of them fighting together. Up in the top right corner here, I've got a demoniacal fit Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. I obviously ordered this before Tamashi made theirs, but hey, saved a little bit of money there. Uh, and then right here, I've got a custom Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I made this from a bootleg Broly movie Vegeta, just kind of painted the, uh, I guess, bodysuit, that regular blue as opposed to the navy blue. Uh, and then did the head. It's not like a perfect, amazing custom. The eyes, I feel like turned out well, but the hair, the closer you get is not great. So I hope they eventually make a like a official release of that one so I can replace that one. Um, but I think he turned out all right. Uh, over here on the left, I used to have Jiren fighting Goku. I know you guys love that pose. I loved it too, but it took up so much space. Um, but you know, Jiren, those hands are ready to eat for everyone. So he's done fighting Goku and now he's gonna be fighting Hit and we all know how that ends. You know, Jiren wins pretty much every fight. So here's Hit fighting uh, Jiren. I think that scene uh, was really dope as well. Love the way this little pose turned out. Behind them up on this rock, this is another one of those bodies that I got from the uh, Majin Vegeta video. Bear with me as I try and explain this guys. This is a Kong Studios body. The back of his head is from this bootleg version. It's just the red hair as opposed to the blue hair that I have painted black. And then the front of the head is a faceplate from the Scouter Vegeta. So fully kit bash. I think it turned out pretty well. This is kind of like the end of tournament version of him uh, where he's just like fully exhausted. Can't even go Super Saiyan anymore. Um, but he's still, he's still, you know, his hands are ready to eat for everyone too. He's still ready to scrap. And then up here, again, another figure I literally got today. It is Kefla, one of the figures I've been waiting for for so, so long. Like she looks all right from here, but when you get it from the side, with those wheels spinning, man, that looks so, so dope. I know a lot of people hate on like the newer characters from Dragon Ball Super people, you know? They don't like Kale, they don't like Caulifla, they don't like Kefla, but man, she's one of my favorite characters. I'm not afraid to say it. I love the Dragon Ball Super stuff. Um, so yeah, having her up there, I think looks really, really dope. I think kind of completes the display in a way um, to have her up there. So yeah, like I said, if anybody new is coming, I got to make a new display because this one I think is complete for a while. It's took me a really long time when I finally decided to rearrange it. Like even going back to these time pillar diorama pieces, they used to be like triangular at the back. If you guys remember, it was in the corner over here. So when I decided I wanted to have Goku in the middle, I had to like cut it flat, move it over here, rearrange a bunch of rocks. I had so many things fall over in the process, but yeah, I think it was worth it. Um, this is definitely my favorite display that I have in my collection right now. All right, guys, last display of the video, and that is my Dragon Ball Super Broly movie display. I'm going to wait to see the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie before I decide if I want to buy all those figures and then make a whole new display. But 
I mean, we all know how good Broly was, so I feel like I might have to do it. But as of right now, this is the last canonical thing we have in Dragon Ball, uh, at least as far as like actually on screen goes. So we've got Goku and Vegeta here. We've got these Super Saiyan God versions of both. This is just the Broly movie figure. I know this one's gone up in price a ton. Still one of my favorite figures. Such a clean figure. And then this is actually the Super Saiyan blue body that I put the um, Demon Eichel Fit head pack, uh, Super Saiyan God head pack on top of. Um, so he's a little bit bulkier than I would like him to be, but uh, it works well as a kit bash, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, the little aura effects, because I know people have asked before, are from a Marvel Legend Hella figure that I just gave to Goku. Um, this diorama too is probably my favorite diorama. I love like, because most of them are pretty dark. If we look up here, it's all dirt and rock, and then the snow just kind of really pops in the display. I love the white with a little bit of blue. Uh, back here, we've got uh, base form Vegeta and Goku with their like, winter jackets on and their gloves. So the body of this Vegeta is another Broly movie bootleg and then the head is the extra head that you get from the Scouter Vegeta, which is why I had to make an extra back for the faceplate on that one. Um, and then this is a bootleg Super Saiyan God Goku body with the faceplate from Saiyan Race on Earth Goku. And then the head is the uh, Ultra Instinct hair that you get from the uh, Battle Damage Super Saiyan Blue Goku from Demoniacal Fit. So a ton of kid bashing. And then the hands are from Classy Adventurer uh, Android 17 so that I could get like the black gloves going on. Um, eventually I'd like to just get another Saiyan Race on Earth Goku, but you know, the 40, 50, 60 dollars I'm gonna spend to that could just go to a new figure and this kind of just does the job for me right now. Uh, so yeah, love the way they look. And then the jackets, I get asked about these as well. Bought them from a seller called GPS Lot um, on eBay. They are a little bit pricey, but to me worth it. Um, gives you such a unique display piece. Um, really to me is like kind of like my favorite part of my Broly movie display. I feel like a lot of people don't have it. So it's so unique, it stands out so much. Um, even just to add something that's like a cloth good is so unique to my whole collection. Uh, so worth every penny to me, like I said, GPS lot on eBay. I don't have a link for it or anything, unfortunately. Um, but I think if you just type in GPS lot on eBay, you should be able to find it. Uh, we've got base form Broly and I did pre-order the sort of reissue they're doing of the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So I'm going to have to find room in here. Uh, this display hasn't changed in a long time. So that'll give me an excuse to do that. Hopefully, I think he's coming out sometime this summer. Um, but I do love this like base form Broly. And then of course, we've got Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta down here. Um, I've had this pose for like literally years. I haven't changed it. I don't plan on changing it. I love it. It looks clean. Um, but yeah, again, one of my favorites here, but um, nothing really too new with this display. And that's gonna do it, guys. Another Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts collection update video in the books. Uh, and this one was special, man. Long time coming for sure. Uh, but then, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is technically the 2022 uh, full like annual update, not like the monthly update. So I'm gonna try and get back to the monthly updates. I don't know if I can really promise that I'm gonna to stick to like the every two months thing. I'll make that my goal. But like I said, I don't wanna just show you guys my collection if it looks exactly the same. So hopefully I'll try and make an effort to redo some poses, change some displays, buy some new figures. Um, I'm kinda of done with like all the one six scale Marvel stuff and Star Wars stuff. So really my only focus right now is the anime figures uh, with Dragon Ball being at the top of that list. I do wanna buy some hot toys, but uh, that's a conversation for another day. So yeah, I say all that to say that hopefully I'll be picking up figures a little bit more frequently. Um, there's definitely a few on my list. I wanna get Jackie Chan, I wanna get Bardock, um, a couple of new ones that are coming out like that Gohan and Krillin with the Saiyan armor that I really wanna get. Uh, so hopefully I'll have some new stuff to show you guys is what I'm saying. But yeah, thank you guys for your patience on this video. Uh, I apologize for, for the wait and thank you guys for all the love you always show on these collection videos. It's insane to me. Uh, the type of like support, the type of numbers these videos do. I know how much you guys love them, which makes me want to make them more. It makes me love making these videos. Uh, I'm very passionate about my collection. I take a lot of pride in it. So when you guys show so much love to it, uh, it's just it's just amazing, man. So I did say there was a special surprise at the end of the video. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for this video, but you've been asking for another video as well. Uh, a while back, we did a reacting to your Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts collections. And you guys love that video. I got a lot of entries, a lot of people sending me their collections that I didn't really expect. Um, but recently people have been saying, man, like I got updates I want to send you. Some people said, man, I missed this video. Are you going to do another one? We're doing it. All right. Um, so I'm going to put a post on Instagram and YouTube tomorrow. So you guys are getting this news early. Okay. So from the time I post it, I'm going to give you guys a week. So you guys get a week in a day. So get your, 
Get your displays looking right, all right? Get your camera out, take some pictures, videos, whatever, and you're gonna DM it to me on Instagram or post it and tag me on Instagram. Um, but either way, through Instagram and our Instagram, I'm gonna leave it in the description below. It is at JD Hunters YT, okay? JD Hunters YT. Send me a message, tag me in a picture, a story, whatever, I'll save it. I'm gonna give you guys a full week to get your collections together, and then I'm gonna be making Reacting to Your Collections part two. I hope you're excited for that. And yeah, guys, a lot more videos coming soon. This was this was the domino to drop. I said that once I've now that I've made this video and I can actually show my collection in videos at least for a little while. Uh, there's a lot more stuff I want to do, so that'll be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for all the love. Let's run this video up, man. Share it with your friends, any other collectors who are new to the channel. I'm trying to see this video go crazy, man. All right, that's it for me. Hopefully, it's you know not like six months before I do this again. Um, but I'll still be seeing you guys soon. So. Check out for that post tomorrow, get your collections ready, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace!